challenging Nintendo system ever. Ready? Let's do it. The new Power Pad. It's only available in Nintendo's new Power Set. The Power Pad is an exercise accessory originally developed by Bandai. It was the Bandai Fun and Fitness Pad. Right. Rebranded. Nintendo thought it was such a great idea that they bought the idea, took it off the market, and re-released it as the Nintendo Power Pad. The Power Pad was basically plastic on either side of what sounded like tissue paper. It just crunched when you walked on it. So you laid this pad out on the floor. You usually plugged it into the second controller port on the Nintendo. And what you would do is that you would run and jump on these, on these buttons and it would register basically as a button press. You try to run on the thing and you do your jumps and you're trying to compete in these Olympic events or et cetera. And then you just get really tired of it. So you get on your knees and you're patting on the thing, trying to make your guy go as fast as you possibly can. You're tubby and out of shape and can't, can't run in place? Just use your hands. Can't get that high score on the long jump? Run, lift your hands up and just let them go until you decide <laughs> to plant back down. The power pad should have been cool, but everyone cheated as a kid. We just, you know, we just get down, just slap the crap out of the stupid buttons because, you know, using our legs was dumb and this was a lot easier. But interestingly enough, I mean, world-class track meet, some people now know as being the rebranding of Stadium Events, which was, uh, I believe, created by Bandai originally, one of the rarest games on the NES. We only got about a half a dozen games in North America that were compatible with the Power Pad. The weirdest game that came out was probably Street, Street Cop. Cop. Because in Street Cop, you would run a uh, side scroll on this and then beat criminals into submission. And these were dangerous criminals that would do things like litter and jaywalk, mm -hmm. and you would beat the crap out of them with your nightstick. I remember waking my parents up every Sunday morning. They had to wake up to the sound of just my heels banging into the floor. I liked Short Order because, yeah, it was kind of like a Simon, but with building a burger. You had dance aerobics where you would literally just follow the girl in the leg warmers on the screen and try to sweat those <laughs> calories away. It was kind of like the first floor mat controller, which paved the way for games like Dance Dance Revolution, huh? Where would the world be without DDR in it? Not somewhere I'd like to be, that's for sure.